Assalamu alaikum everyone, in this video I'm gonna talk about uh, storing API keys when it comes to um, your nested directories where for example I have to get my API keys from I assign my environment API environment here and get from for example from the stocks right so there are two options gonna create a new file and this is was config in it. Yes. Config in it, and uh, here I use uh, JetBrains by PyCharm. So as an example, I can just write here um, API, and I'm gonna explain later on why I don't like uh, config any compared to the other one. For example, uh, API test will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I already have my environment uh, and I'm gonna run everything in the main. It always should be in the main and hi hypothetically because then you won't gonna have like module import error or uh, error like from top level package not found. From config parser import config parser um, so file here I have to find config in it. you know, see I have a highlighter so it showcases here config equals config parser config read I already dislike this approach honestly and most of the YouTube videos I found it's actually suggested this one but I don't like it there's like a lot of like lines and uh, I'm gonna answer shortly why otherwise I don't like it so basically I'm gonna use a data class we have to import it I'm gonna specify as well frozen, frozen to true, because we don't want to be able uh, the API key. This one should be stay immutable, so that's why I define frozen, and I'm a big fan of data classes. I write so class API keys, and this is how you do API. Key better define string config. Uh, I think it was just API and what was the name? API test. API test. So now I'm gonna ls say so doing the config. Uh, here I'm gonna just as an example print API keys API key Python config no you have to specify Python 3 no module object is not countable You see, we get the value from. So basically, now I go to main here. Oops. Uh, from config, config vault import API keys. Here I assign print API keys. API key. So let's see what I'm gonna get now. I have to go level back, main. See? And uh, the first suggestion I got is to use config in it. And key, Kirill error API. I didn't find any solution and it's not an import error. It goes through here. It just somehow doesn't read this one through. And I wasn't able to find the solution, and this one is a little bit lengthy. And I obviously want to run th through my main script. So this is a huge red flag for my project. 
as I'm not able to, for example, run this one if uh, passed in uh, in the main script. So I'm gonna just uh, refactor, rename. Gonna call it differently. Gonna call it as an env. Now this one is no longer valid. Gonna yeah, make the same thing. So here was different. So the main different things we don't need this one. We have to import OS uh, from dot env import low dot env find dot env. So now these ones I delete. Only line I have to add is low dot env and find dot env. So it's gonna and here it already can uh, find dot env. If not found boolean false. So it already found like dot env in this directory. Let's get env so we get this one. And we get how was it named again? Test API. Test. You can see it even highlights it. And now if for example we make print uh, API or not async API keys API and let's do it once more CD in config because before we with the config we tried to run it inside the config directory it worked and same we're gonna try with um, this dot env you can see it uh, got gets the same value and it's actually shorter here test api get the api and here as well it's like just one line uh, with import os module but as you remember from config any there are like additional lines and it's like more bulky so now let's see if actually the issue is solved here in the main script that is like most essential when you have uh deeply nested directory and you have like multiple things uh, running simultaneously and remember this one I ran in main so it works and uh, now as an experiment let's try this one so I already added uh, in dot and an additional uh, stock API and the name is same as here stock api from api stock import get stock data i actually have to call print get stock data and uh, tesla can see and here I got the current Tesla's price in 266 so it should like USD so and that's basically it and as you can see with uh, this approach I as well can um, yeah, import from here uh, the API pass in here and actually run as most important from the main